Hey. Happy Good Monday. morning or afternoon if you're watching That's later right. on CBS. Yes. It's been a while since you've seen us in this studio right here, about Indeed. five months or so. Yes, our friends uh, are having the uh, governor debate yeah. uh, over in Fox 59. And so we are over here today and tomorrow. That's right. Yes. Back over in the CBS studio. If you remember, last time we were in here, Abby just confirmed it was our Halloween episode. Wow. The whole studio was pink for Barbie. Gosh, okay, November, December, January, February, March. So five months yeah, ago? Yeah, five months ago. That feels like, in many ways, five minutes ago, but also like a, like a year ago. It Both. That's crazy. I know exactly what yeah, you mean. Yeah, it's the yeah. both. It's weird. Yeah. Oh, crazy. So we're excited to have you guys here. The studio is buzzing with all kinds of great things. Yeah. Live music, charcuterie boards. Oh, man. Grazing is my yeah. love language. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have so much fun. There's also an event going on at Newfields yeah. that's going to be so much fun called Total Eclipse of the Art. A brilliant name. I know. Yeah. It's great. It writes itself. We looked up the music video on Friday, and I forgot how... Yeah iconic the music video Yeah, is. shout out to Bonnie Tyler, first of all. Uh, but, like, that music video is wild. Speaking of music, yeah. I want to ask you about something. Oh. You had quite an eventful weekend in I Anderson. I did, yes, at the Paramount Theater, beautiful theater in Anderson. Yeah. I had never even set foot in the place, and it was so awesome. I got to perform with the Anderson Symphony Orchestra um, on Saturday night Go with rise. Sandy Patty, John mm -hmm. McLaughlin, Sarah Scarborough. So that's uh, Lawrence Brownlee. He's one of the world's best opera tenors. Oh, wow. Uh, there's Paul Langford, an amazing arranger, our friend Sarah. There's the venue. It's really cool. They like painted the ceiling to look like a beautiful sunset. It's oh, gorgeous. That's really but cool. it was really fun. Um, Anderson Symphony Orchestra's uh, maestro Rick Sowers is retiring after 35 years and uh, he invited me to be part of the show and wow. it was incredible. It was such a fun hang backstage. There's our friend Heather Lake. Uh, but yeah, it was it was an incredible night of music. The orchestra sounded amazing. And uh, in many ways, I, I kind of had like a little bit of imposter syndrome, just a little bit, like walking into it. You like, told me that, and I thought, what are you thinking? You were, of course, you should be there. Thank you. It's very, but like everybody was tied to Anderson. Yeah. And so I'm like the lone IU guy kind of there, you know. But it was great. Everybody made me feel super welcome, and the show was incredible start to finish. My parents got to go. Yeah. It was a blast. It was well, such an honor to be You're very talented, part of. and you, you were surrounded by so much talent, and that's what I love, just yeah. seeing that in the area. So it was a blast. you, of course, deserve it, Thank and you. I'm so glad it was a great show. Thanks. It was awesome, and shout out to everybody who was there. Yeah. yeah. Well, we always like to start things off on, on a good, good note. note. <laughs> yes, we do. That was on a good note. <laughs> That's fine. We always like to start it off on a good note, though. <laughs> I'm laughing. Sorry. No, it's fine. Well, that's all right.